Lacken. Excellent decision, Marshal. Is it good? Verse 105. Is it? Verse 105, Surah Al-Baqarah. I'll give you يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقولوا راعنا وقولوا انظرنا واسمعوا وللكافرين عذاب عليم. Didn't you raise this question earlier in this class? No. Right. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقولوا راعنا وَقُولُنْ ذُرْنَا وَاسْمَعُوا وَلِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ This verse applies to the munafiqeen. The translation is that, O oh, those who have believed, do not address Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu as رَعِنَا وَقُولُنْ ذُرْنَا Wasmahu and listen to him. Well Kafirin Adabun Alim and those who reject the truth, for them there is a painful punishment. Right? Now this verse is further explained in the following verse and also referred to in other places. But I will remain to this verse alone. The meaning of Rai means have uh, show mercy to us, be kind to us. This word is from Riyat. Have lean, show leniency towards us. And there is another word which is similar to this, which means to uh, take care of the st stock of animals like uh, cows and uh, sheep and goats etc. So anyone who tends the flock of sheep etc. is called rai, rai or tender of the flocks. Tender tends and tender of the flock. So because Ahzra sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like all prophets did earlier, also tended the sheep or goats etc. of his people as a boy, as a young boy. So they twisted their tongue and instead of saying Raina, they said Raina. When you read it with the J following, Ya following, and pronounce it as Raina, it means, oh, tenderer of our sheep, oh, tender of our sheep, our flocks of, of, of animals, etc. You are the one who used to do this when you were young. Now you become our Sardar. How can you become our leader? So this was the twist of the tongue which uh, became so insulting to Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu So the Holy Quran says, why don't you use a word which you cannot twist anyway? It is so clear. Unzurna <laughs> means, have, uh, keep us in your sight, the sight of mercy. So look at us with favor, with kindness. This can be said by the word, okay, expressed by the word unzurna. So the Holy Quran says, don't use a word which you twist consciously to insult Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because if you continue to do that, for people like you, there is azabun alim. A very painful punishment waiting for you. You don't know what you are doing. See? You understand the point now? Good. 